Well, hey, welcome to Cookster's old door panel. Hey, Cookster here. Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to heat shrink, or at least how I was taught to do it by an old body man 40 years ago, which is hard to say out loud, but here we are. Um, heat shrinking is kind of a lost art. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Most of you young guys probably have never done it. I'm sure you've probably heard of it or seen it done. Heat shrinking works really well when the situation calls for it. This panel here is one of the ones I had showed in the planishing video, which I'm not sure if I, I published it or not. But I had to planish this panel out after I welded it because it sunk in real bad. When you weld, that's what happens. Um, it sunk in, so I planished it to bring it back up. And then I over planished it just a small amount. So a little bit of heat shrinking pulled it right back into shape. So this is not a long video, it's just a real quick uh, instructional video, I guess, on how to heat shrink, or like I said, how I do it. There's different methods of doing this, torch shrinking. Um, like I said, this is how I was taught, and it works for me, so uh, that's what I'm going to show you. So, here we go. Heat shrinking, uh, basically, you, you take a torch, and it needs to be a torch. It needs to be an acetylene torch, butane. Butane? <laughs> Pro. Yeah, butane. Propane and butane torches don't get hot enough. Now, maybe you can do it. If some of you guys have tried it with propane or butane or butane and it's worked, let me know in the comments. But you need a acetylene torch. Also, you need a tip that's a small tip. Don't do this with a cutting torch head and don't do it with a rosebud head. You have to have a small tip size. This tip I have on here is a number three. If you didn't know that, acetylene torches have tip sizes. Go down from like zero or one up to, you know, like four or five, even bigger. You know, it puts out a lot of heat really fast. I learned to torch weld when I was 17 years old with this exact torch set I'm holding in my hand right now. And again, that's a lot of years ago. So I've got a good quality torch. I've had this torch here is probably 50 years old. You need to have a small tip because you need a small concentrated flame, not a big old honking flame. That won't work right. So the way this works here, you take a very small flame, you heat up a little dot, maybe the size of a dime or your tip fingertip, you know, one little small dot. Then take a put the torch down, put the, take the hammer and dolly. The way I was taught to do was dolly around the area. You just heat it up and then a couple strikes right on the, on the center of the place where it was hot and then shrink it with water. I use a water bucket and a rag. I, you know, some guys use spray bottles, the water hoses, there's all kinds of ways to do it. I've always done it with a rag and a bucket. Stick your, bu stick your hand in the bucket, get a rag and quench it. And that's, that's it. That's heat shrinking in a nutshell. And it works. You can't overdo it. You can do it wrong. You can make a mess. But if you do it right, it works. Uh, one more thing about heat shrinking. When you're, when you're, heating, your, when you're heating your spot here, you're going to see the metal rise and, and grow up, you know, like a little uh, volcano top, mountain top forming. That's normal. Don't be scared. When you heat metal with a torch, that's what happens. It expands. That's, you know, you guys, when you weld, you know, you've heard about metal expanding and contracting. Well, you're watching it. Get a torch and do it. You can see the metal expand up. That's normal. Don't be afraid because what you're doing, you're expanding that metal. And you dolly it, you kind of reset the molecules, is the way I was told. And then you hammer it and you shrink it. And it all, those molecules shock and they shrink back together again. That's part of the process. So don't be afraid when you see that expansion. That's normal. All right, this is the spot right here I just heat shrunk. Um, what I've done, I've taken my straight edge. What I've done, taking my straight edge, and I'm checking for high spots and lumps across this panel. Uh, I may have, I may be able to show you in my other video. I can't, I don't have the camera set up for that now. But I can, I can see the spots where it's a little bit high and it pooped up a little bit on me, where I overstretched. So what I'm, I had one right here, took it right down. I got these X marks are kind of where I want to shrink. So I, I'm taking the, the, the uh, straight edge and I had it on my door doing this because I got it loose on a panel. The door was sometimes, you know, it's flimsy and floppy. So I did have it on my panel, my door shell, to hold it straight. So I'm taking my uh, my yardstick, and I've got a definite rocking spot, high spot, right here, and got one right here. So I'm going to shrink those down. 
So as I said, the way you do this, take your torch, little heat a little spot, about this, just, just one little spot, put the torch down, get your dolly, hammer, and the way I, the way I do it, at least on this panel, I got the, I got the dolly turned this way, because I saw him hammering, there's a little bit of, of a little bit of gap between my dolly and the panel. If I did it, I would hammer on the dolly, that'd be stretching it back out. Then you dolly, you dolly around the dime you've made, and then you hit it a couple of times right in the center. Put everything down, grab the rag bucket, cold water, and quench it right away. That's how it works. So, um, let's do it. Camera's running, so let me fire up the torch and get going. Again, you don't want a huge amount of heat, but you want enough heat. You don't want a huge amount of heat, but you want enough heat to heat it up pretty quick. You know, get on, get off type thing. And, you know, wear a glove. This is hot. You got your, you got your hand back there where you just had a torch on it. It's hot. And then get my dolly ready. And here we go. Like you can see, right? Yep, here we go. So I'm just making my one little hot spot right here. And you gotta do this quick. There's no playing games. Dolly it. It's all that quick. You can't sit here and fumble around and play around. I mean, you can to some degree, but the faster you get on it and quench it, quench it, the better it works. And then if I'm, you know, like now, I'm trying to check it because I'm, I don't want to, this is not some big old lumpy panel I'm having to shrink over and over. So I usually wipe the water back off and check it. Oh, that's, that's much all better off. I had shrunk that spot right down. Now this this one little spot I had a, I had an area right here that was kind of where my that was pooched up. This one little spot should have taken all that down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're getting there now. As old boss of mine used to say, cooking with gas, baby. Alright, I got one more spot right here. I want to shrink down. But this is a sanity check. Let me grab my let me grab my uh straight edge. Yep. One little shrink right here. Let me uh raise the camera up a tad. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Let raise up a little more. All right, here we go. Same deal. Dolly it. There we go. Oh yeah, much better. And if I have placed my shrink strategically, I'm done. So let me move the camera. Actually, let me set the skin back up on the door and I'll show you what we got. So the reason I'm heat shrinking, this is one of the door panels off my C10 that I welded the patch panel in right up under the body crease. And it sunk really bad. Big, big, big dish. So I planished it out with my new, with my, with my planishing hammer. Um, that's not a great planishing hammer, but it does work. I, I caveman my way through it. Turns out I put a little bit too much stretch in here. This is the first time I ever planished a well with a planishing hammer. I know how to do it. I know the technique. I know what it does. It stretches the metal out. 
but uh, I still need practice. So I overstretched it just a small amount, not a huge amount. Just enough, but it was concerning me that when I tried to put filler on here, I'd have some, I'd have some high spots. And by the way, I am not metal finishing this door. No way, no how. I don't have the skill set. I don't have the tools. I don't have the time, really, to spend hours and hours. I mean, yeah, I do, but I'm, I'm not going to metal finish this door. I'm just not. I don't have the, the gumption to do it. But I am trying to get it very, very close, just so a sixteenth of an inch less of body filler will fix the door. Where it was sunk in before, I had a quarter inch gap, at least in the middle of that, of that crease where it had sunk it in. So planishing it raised all that back out, stretched that metal and shrunk all back out. And then I got it a, a little bit high in a few spots. So all I'm doing now is just a little bit of selective heat shrinking to take those high spots right down. You just saw me do one. It shrunk right down. All right, I got my panel back on the door. Check it. And that is much, much, much better. Those three spots definitely did the trick. Now, there is a couple of little, little ripples in it still. Um, nothing horrible. I got a, I got a pretty good one right here. I can, and I can feel it too. But my heat shrinking definitely did the job. Now what I want to do is dolly the panels a little more. Um, right along here so now I'm doing hammer off dolly, trying to low, I'm gonna raise a low spot and tap down a high spot. Doesn't take much. Sometimes you can shrink a little bit by using, I got this hammer right here that you make little dimples in there and sometimes it'll shrink. There's also a pick hammer. You can shrink a little bit with a pick hammer. What you're doing, you're picking down and you make little indentations and every little dent is a little shrink. Kind of the same idea as a shrinking hammer, which I don't have one of those anymore. Even when I had it, I didn't really like it. I'd rather, I used the pick hammer version to do it. For that, I am hammer on dolly because I, I want the impact to shrink it down a little. Oh, yeah, now we're getting there a little bit right in the middle. I'm just trying to do a sandy check. Let's put it back down where she goes. Hammer and dolly. here but it's not bad it'll definitely work work out with filler it's only like a sixteenth of an inch ish and when I weld down here uh, this is going to cause some distortion anyway I might even be able to hammer it out in the flange I definitely will have to hammer the flange up a little bit I still kind of got a high spot right here I'm not crazy about Man, everything else, including that crease. That's just, man, it looks so much better. 
I got some before, and I'll do a before shot. I know I got it on camera somewhere before I started. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I am a little low right here, as I said. That's in the flange. I could hammer that up now, but there's really no real need to do that when I when I when I uh, weld the door onto the flange. I'm going to do one more shrink right here. This is just a little bub more bubbled up than I'd bubble. A little more bubble than I'd like. So I'm going to do one more shrink right here. Let me get my, just for the heck of it, right there. Um, all right, let me uh, turn the camera back around. Move the skin around. Cut! <laughs> No, I won't be doing that. Sorry, Bob. This spot here, I'm torn between shrinking it or not. It's just, this may, I may be about to overdo it. And if I do, I have to come back and stretch it back out. But I'm going to go ahead and try it. Do it. And uh, hopefully it's the result I want. All right. Here we go. I'm being a little lighter with the water on this one. I don't want it to shrink this one a, a, a whole, the full shrink I could get. I only wanted to shrink it just a tiny amount, so I backed off on the water application just a little bit. It's still shrunk, believe me. All right, that feels, that feels good. I'm not gonna do it again. So once again, let's check it and set it back up. See what we got. All right, I need one more shrink. I'm nitpicking this thing to death, but that's kind of how I am. So let's just do it and be done with it. This is the time to get this done. Because once I uh, spray the lizard skin on the back of this door, there's no more heating to this door shell. One more. I'm going to span this one out just a little bit. But there's a, kind of a bigger area here. See what that did. Yeah, that's that's. I know I say it every time. That's better, but that is better. That's the whole point. Yeah, I, that worked. That I see. I had a bit. I had a big lump, lumpy spot right here. I worked that down for sure. So let's do a little bit of hammer and dolly work. I got a I got a bit of an oil can wanting to form. That's okay though because the door shell, I say that now, it may be famous last words. The door shell should take care of that when I put it on the shell. I may have went too far. I mean it's certainly possible. Let's put it back on the shell and see what we got.
So that's the end of the heat shrink video. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned how to heat shrink if you didn't already know. I hope you learned how if you do know how to do it. And I didn't teach you anything, and that's fine too. Uh, but if you, you know, maybe you saw it done in a different way. The the method I use of hammering around the area that you're heating and then hitting the center. Not a lot of people do that, but again, I was taught that 40 years ago, um, and it's always worked for me. So that's that's how I've always done it. If you want to Google heat shrinking, I'm sure there's you're going to find many different ways people do it. That's just how I do it, and it works for me. So that's what I'm sticking with. So anyway, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you stuck around to the end and you're actually watching this. Uh, as I've been saying recently, I'm making an effort to try to grow my channel. So I'm going to keep beating you over the head with, you know, if you like what you're seeing, you're learning something, you enjoy this, you know, throw me a subscription. Subscriptions really help build the channel. And I'll quote Rat Rod Bob again. Subscriptions are free. Not only all week, but lifetime subscriptions. They are free, buddy. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, drop, you know, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. Be on the lookout for my next video, whatever that is. And I will catch you on the flip side. Y'all come back now. You hear? Happy heat training. Woohoo! Be a pain. <laughs> Pro. <laughs> Pro. Yeah, be a pain. So some of you guys have tried it with propane. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs>